Spurs first game in Austin considered to be a slam dunk by many. <laughs> the Spurs sold out the Moody Center in their inaugural game in the state capitol. RJ Marquez was there and spoke with Bear County Judge Peter Sakai, who was also there, about the Silver and Black's future in Austin. One by one, Spurs fans filled the stands for the first ever NBA regular season game in Austin. More than 16,000 people packed the Moody Center, a record for the new arena on UT's campus. One of those Spurs fans in attendance was Bear County Judge Peter Sakai. I'm all for the Spurs outreaching to Travis County and other parts that they think they can increase their fan base. Sakai met with Travis County officials to talk Spurs, but also the importance of making the South Central Texas region stronger, north and south of San Antonio. I'm in conversations with the Spurs to see if they'll make an outreach to South Texas. We have a lot of fans there, and there's no uh, doubt in my mind that that's the right thing to do. Spurs Sports and Entertainment tell us nearly 10% of yearly ticket sales for games at the AT&T Center come from people living in the Austin region. SSE wants to build their Austin fan base, not in an effort to move up I-35, but to get more people down the road for games in San Antonio. So this is a, another opportunity for us to continue to grow our brand, to continue to meet our fans and listen to them and learn uh, in the communities that are important to us. The Spurs are allowed to play two designated home games a year away from the at t Center, and it must be approved by Commissioner's Court. After Thursday's game, it appears there could be more silver and black in burnt orange country. I know there's concerns, but let me tell you, the Spurs are the best goodwill ambassadors for Bear County. And I'm making sure that Bear County is going to be top priority. We checked with a couple of establishments who said that they are excited to see the Spurs play here in the near future, but unfortunately, the wet weather caused many people to call it an early night last night. The rain also forced the Spurs to cancel a fan fest at a nearby park, but they say they will continue to find different ways to reach out to their Austin fan base. Reporting in Austin, RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.